flesh, bones, and blood of the earth. There's a fire and water within me, and the air that I breathe of the world. And I know deep within me I live on and on, like the waters of life and the salt in the sea. I live on and on, but I don't yet know where. Where the waters of life and the salt of the sea they dissolve. There's a wind and it blows and it thunders, and the rains come and go on the plains. Once I saw you there standing before me, and now I am here all alone. And I know deep within me you live on and on like the waters of life and the salt in the sea. You live on and on, but I don't get. When the waters of life and the salt of the sea they dissolve. The seeker asked the master, "My mind is restless. I am troubled by a battery of unbridled emotions." uncontrolled thoughts and desires how should i control it how should i bring it to peace the master took the seeker near a pond he threw a stone into that trippleless pond and the ripples got created the master said you mind is like this water with ripples no wait and on waiting the ripples settled the mind is just like that but the seeker asked but how can i settle the unsettled mind the master again took a glass of muddy water and said watch and in some time the mud settled the same it is with mind you cannot force silence on the mind you cannot force clarity on the mind the transformation cannot come by force it comes with the flow allow it to settle give it a time practicing silence is not about becoming 
speechless or noiseless. It's about becoming aware. The real silence is awareness. Complete awareness. Speaking and not speaking is optional. Even with speaking, one can remain silent at heart. Silence has less to do with speaking or not speaking. It is more about internal stillness. It's more about intrinsic fulfillment. A person might be inside, fully empty, and outside he is not speaking, observing, silence. But that, that's not the real <laughs> silence. The lips are not speaking, but the mind is continuously chattering. That's not silence. Silence is the state of internal awareness arising out of internal fulfillment. It's not force, but flow. It is to wake up. from the sleep of unconsciousness. Just keep the hands like this and absorb the power of silence from the universe. My hands have become the channels, the receiver. It is receiving signals. The divine powers are entering my hands. And through my hands, they are spreading into my whole being my entire existence. I am vibrating with powers. My every organ, my every cell is resonant with this divine power. Now the second stage is of transferring, so transfer this power to the world <coughs> through my hands. The power is going out, it's moving out and reaching each and every soul of this universe. The transmitter of power the giver of power, the donor of power. And the third stage, make the hands like this, connecting. I am connected with each and every soul of this planet Earth. And there is free exchange of power with that soul, with each and every soul. Again down, receive the power. Give the power. And connect.
I am in sync with each and every soul. I am connected through pure cords of love and harmony with each and every soul. That's it. Receive, give and connect. Receive, give and connect. That is the silence game. So this Murli explores silence. Out of the so many points given, the one is silence and problem solving. Whenever you are faced with any problem in life, be in silence for five minutes and think of the solution. The problem could be anything. The workplace issues, the office issues, You are the owner of the shop and a customer comes. You give him something, the piece came out to be faulty, he comes back and asks for a refund and is shouting. How do you respond? Go in silence. Think of something and then come back. You are the center in charge and two sisters come to you and they are fighting with each other. How do you solve the issue? Enter into silence and then come out with something. You have got two employees with you. Both of them won't leave on the same day. And their reason is genuine. But the job entails that the work is urgent. A necessary work has to be done on the same day. How you prioritize? How do you decide? Go into silence and take a decision. A person comes to you and starts challenging your beliefs. Enter into the zone of silence and come out. The group of people who come and praise you a lot, you feel happy. You move to another place and another person comes and shouts at you over a very small mistake. Go into the silence, sanctuary, and then come out. What to do? That is not going to be told. That you are have to decide. That's what Baba said, silence gives you silence. And this power gives you concentration and that gives you decision-making power and power to discern. And with these two powers, then you can make any decisions. You have to take decision about your career. What should I do? Option A or option B. It's a tough decision. Enter into the silence. Analyze the situation. Write it down. Journaling helps. Better not to Go to different people and ask for their opinions. They might confuse you. Especially when you have to take decisions. The best time is Amrit Vela. Don't rely on any other time of the day. Some major decision you have to take. of life. Take it at Amritvela. 
The other situation is Maya. Maya and silence. Problems and silence. Suddenly a problem comes. You are the center in charge and you get a call from Madhuban that five brothers are coming for stay. You have a difficult accommodation. But somehow two sisters sacrifice their own rooms and make room for those five brothers of Madhuban with much difficulty. But when brothers came, come, they are ten in number. And they did not inform. Nor they are saying that, sorry that we were, we told about five, but we are ten. Now what you do? It's a tough situation. Hmm? So, challenging situations come. And the real growth takes place only in the challenges. The more difficulties you have, it means you are on the right track. If you are living comfortably from morning till evening and no attacks of Maya, you are stagnating. And stagnation is death. Flow is life. The river is flowing. It encounters stones, rocks, cliffs, bushes, mountains, sands, difficult terrain, plateau. But that's it. The path should be thorny. Your feet should bleed. You should fall. You should stumble. And arise again. And walk with those blood-stained feet. Enter into a labyrinth. Get lost and come out. Get deceived by will the whips And come out. Get deceived and learn. The power to decide, the power to discern doesn't come sitting in the room and reading Murli. The world is your classroom and situations are your teachers. Circumstances are your chapters. Be an eternal learner. Be a perpetual student in the university of hard knocks. So with silence, discern what is Maya. With silence, solve the challenges. With silence, get rid of anger, get rid of waste thoughts, get rid of old sun scars. With silence, get rid of mental disorders. With silence, help souls to meet the Father. With silence, help souls, those wandering souls, to come to a destination with silence, become a great soul, a dharmatma with silence, tour the three world with silence, save money, with silence, save efforts, with silence, there will be trumpet of victory for you. And with silence, the garlands would garland you with silence, the 
throw the arrows with silence create a silence zone shanti kund silence is miracle but to be silent is the greatest task of life a disciple complains master what should i do i am so much attached to my mobile phone what the master says you are attached to your cell because it gives you attention it gives you attention that's why so think of various cell challenges where you can apply silence various situations scenarios challenges difficulties problems just move out move inside into that inner inner sacred abode of stillness that inner silent sanctuary where you are alone and situations are tough and they will become tougher unprecedented things will come to you unexpected life situations unresolved relationships conflicting relationships creating turmoil and throwing you into the wilderness difficult souls tough souls with tough sanskars they will interact and they will demand i'm highly demanding use silence om shanti